Well, you know, it feels great to be recognized by USA today as Coach of the Year. Obviously, uh, you know, that's a big part to the, the team we had, the commitment of the players, the talent level we had. And, uh, you know, again, I'm very happy and proud to be recognized for that. Well, just calm throughout the game because, you know, you've been doing this for a lot of years. However, it was very emotional when Jail and Patterson buried the three to win. Uh, you know, you're winning a, a championship in a national high school invitational tournament, the biggest tournament in the country. And then this year, whoever won it was going to be the national champion. So it was the first time in a long time that it was a high school tournament that was really going to end up with the national champion. Uh, so that made it more emotional, the shot and the winning it. And then for me personally, we've been very close several times at St. Pat's. We finished two several times. And, uh, you know, we always play a great schedule. I mean, this year we played in the final USA Today and ESPN poll. We, pl we played number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, uh, number ten. So I don't think anybody else has ever played a, a starting or final schedule of, you know, uh, the, the best five teams in the country. Well, I think... Um, my father, first of all, coached CYO, and uh, you know he ran the electrical union, so he was a very organized guy. I loved basketball. Uh, would have been a great coach if he had the opportunity. Uh, but did CYO for years, won a lot of championships. Uh, Steve Petrozelli, I had in high school, was very. He's now at Governor Livingston, but he was a very good X and O guy. And then going on to college, I got to play for a lot of guys. Uh, Bill Rafferty for a short period before he went to TV. Hadi Mahan. Uh, and they both were very talented and good. And then P.J. Carlissimo, he was a more of a one-three-one guy than a man-to-man -man guy. And then I got to transfer to St. Peter's and play for Bob Duquette, who was also assisted by Teddy Fury. So I had five guys with a lot of knowledge in, in the game in different styles. And I learned a lot from Bob Duquette of man-to-man -man defense and breakdown defense. And he did a lot of... Uh, breakdown defensive drills. I thought, I thought that's something that's probably been the biggest influence on me today. Well, obviously, you know, to me, that's the most important piece of your team at, at any level. Obviously, everybody wants a center, but I think, you know, you need leadership from that uh, quarterback or the point guard, uh, you know, or the pitcher in baseball, person who's controlling the ball on the team. And, um, you know, I think there's just a lot of influence, a lot of assistance you can give a kid at that age to help him get better. Obviously, there's a lot of natural ability to be a Kyrie Irving, a lot of your, your self ability to read and react, but there's a lot of uh, communication off the court, a lot of breakdown stuff, scenarios, telling him how to think, you know, each play, in which, what, in what order you should be looking for the roll, and then the lift, and then the kick out. And you know how you should be looking for each, depending on how it's going, it could really help them make good decisions and limit their turnovers. Well, I think again we we call it point guard camp, but you know I have a little Isaiah Thomas in me in the thought process of Isaiah who used to say, yeah, "I'm a guard, I'm not a point guard, I'm a two guard, I'm a guard." And the reality of it is today. You got to be able to, you know, play on, the, you know, with the ball if you want to be a point guard. But you also have to be able to play without the ball. And um, you know, it should almost be called point guard and perimeter play camp because a lot of the stuff we're doing is obviously as the point guard, but there's a lot of stuff we're doing with spacing and gapping and kicking. And when you're not just the guy with the ball, but when you're the other guard or the other perimeter players, how you're playing with spacing and relationship to the ball. Well, to me, it's the kids who are really dedicated, who don't just, you know, obviously we all want to be seen by the college coaches. We all want to get to the uh, mo most named places. But to me, the kids who want to be great are looking to get, you know, where there's, there's nobody around but another couple hundred kids who just want to be great players and want to work on their skills and understand the importance of improving your fundamentals to get to reach their potential. And the Hoop Group Skill Campus. I mean, just terrific. The, the teachers they have, uh, you guys bring in uh, from Dave Hopper to, to Bob Hurley to geez, just about everybody you have come through and your own guys and staff that do, they do an excellent job. They're conscientious. 
it's very organized, and you know, I've done camps all over the country. It's without question, you know, the best uh, skill camp academy in the country. You know, again, we, we love to have you guys come to the Kevin Boyle Point Guard Camp. Uh, you know, we're going to put a tremendous amount of effort and energy into you. We think if you come uh, ready to play, ready to learn, there's no question you're going to learn, you know, 10 to 15 new things uh, and new ways of thinking uh, that will help your game. If you go home after you get those messages and those drills and practice them, you're going to get a lot better.